Hey, it's Yobo. Welcome to day 355 of life, according to who? Yobo. No mess, no stress, no BS. Honey, been a couple days since Yobo was with you, because I'm practicing what I've been preaching. Yobo done stepped up her game. Y'all talk about Donald Trump if you want to. Take your time writing the email saying that you're going to boycott the inauguration. First of all, you ain't never watched no inauguration to begin with. Black people, if Barack Obama was a president, you never would have watched an inauguration. So we need to sit down somewhere and shut up, okay? With that done, okay? I ain't never watched an inauguration. Probably, probably because I was either working or in school. But these last two terms, I was with my dad, taking care of my dad. Plus, my dad was almost 91 when he died. He lived long enough to see the first African-American president. So, of course, we had to watch the inauguration because it was historic. It was a historic moment for him and for myself as African, as an African-American. Okay, so now we got a new president. It's his turn. It's okay. Y'all need to calm down. Calm down. Guess what? Y'all had your turn. You might be upset. You might say you're boycotting the inauguration. But see, you got offended and called people racist when they said the same thing four years ago and four years before that. Y'all was mad when the man, whatever that man's name was, he said, our goal is to make sure Barack Obama is a one-term president. Black folks were hot. Look, it's okay. I told you. This is the season we are in where the unusual is happening. That's why you got to step up your game. And in stepping up your game, we can't be distracted by the pettiness of life. And you know what? Okay, let's see. Well, he was allegedly, uh, he was accused of raping a 13-year-old girl. He said he grabs women by the P-U-S-S-Y. Uh, uh, he said derogatory things about uh, Latinos and blacks and and I know all that. I know all that. Yeah, I read CNN. I read Fox News. I know all that. Hey, don't be distracted by all that. He's going to be the next president of the United States, whether y'all like it or not. So what you going to do? You got to step up your game because regardless to if he weren't president or if Hillary Clinton had been president, ain't a doggone thing in your life going to change. I promise you. My son told me leading up to the election, he said, Mommy, regardless to who is the next president, ain't a, well, I ain't going to tell you what he said, but basically he was saying, ain't a thing in his life going to change. He, know, he said, I'm still going to be cooking a few meals and try to make a few dollars. Ain't nothing in my world going to change. Same thing for you. Unless you make a change. What do you do? You step up your game. Whatever that may be. Baby, if you selling cupcakes out your kitchen. If you cutting hair on the patio. Go to school and get your uh, 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 cosmetology license. A barber license or whatever you call it. If you baking cupcakes out of the kitchen. Find out what you need to do to get licensed. Go to the Board of Health. Take it up to the next step. If you're the musician for the church, go to school. Learn how to read music. Learn how to write music. If you are the preacher, take a class. Take an online class. If you're a mother, Read some magazines. Get with some more mothers. Put a group of mothers together. And everybody, let me see. I knew somebody. What was that they did? Oh, they got together once a week. And each mother brought a pan of food, seven pans of the same dish. So we get together one week. So let's say I'm making spaghetti. I bring seven pans of spaghetti. Maybe the next mother, she's bringing seven bowls of chili. The next mother, she's bringing uh, uh, seven pans of chicken. Then... They swap meals, so everybody goes home with meals for the week. But all the person had to do was just spend one day making the seven pans of spaghetti. If you're a mother, do something like that. 
Put together a group of people. Do something to make the world a better place. How do you make the world a better place? Not by going on social media and saying you boycott the inauguration. You make the world a better place by making yourself a better person. Nobody in the world may take notice of it. Your mama may not notice. Your pastor may not notice. But you do something to make this world a better place. If you don't do nothing but cook dinner and take a plate of food to an elderly person down the street, step up your game, whatever it may be. And honey, y'all quit worrying about President-elect Donald Trump soon to be our next president. Child, the problems in our life are way more bigger than him. I promise you, cause trust me, he got money four years from now, he gonna have money. You don't want to be in the same spot four years from now as you are now. All right. See y'all. Life according to your bow. We gonna dismiss that mess, stress, and BS. We're better than that. All right, y'all. Bye-bye.